Let's see if I can get this started pretty quickly. One and done. There we go. That's what it sounds like when your water is boiling. Hey friends, hey, welcome back to the Expeditionary Johnny channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Kelly Kettle. So if you're new to my channel, uh, my th motto, my theme is to remove obstacles to outdoors. Now some of those obstacles might be time, ideas, or sometimes equipment. And so today I thought I'd talk about a piece of equipment that I have. It's the Kelly Kettle. I've owned it for a few years and uh, with the springtime coming up, I thought it's time to go ahead and just freshen up that playlist. So let's go ahead and start talking about it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the size of the Kelly Kettle. Now on a typical day hike where I'm going to do a hike and cook, I might carry a backpack about this size. It's something you're going to get on Amazon or at Walmart, right? And the side pockets are big enough to have like a... A thin stainless steel water bottle. That's not going to be the, not going to work so much for the Kelly kettle. We're going to have to carry the kettle, Kelly kettle on the inside of our backpack. So here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the basic equipment. All right. So as the name implies, the Kelly kettle is a kettle. It is made to boil water. Now this kettle is designed a bit differently than most other kettles. All right. Instead of something like you'd put on the range to boil water to make tea. This one looks more like a milk jug, and that was by design back in the uh, late 19th century. Uh, somebody figured out if you made a tall container and you put a hole in the center of it, it allows the fire to go up there, you're going to get more contact, uh, more flame contact with the water. You're going to boil your water faster. So the way it works is you start out with the base. All right. So you're going to put a few twigs in here. You're going to see it's got two holes in here, and you want to face it toward the wind. That way the wind comes in here, feeds your fire, and then it goes up the Kelly Kettle. Your Kelly Kettle simply goes on top of that, and then once you get your fire going, you're going to get this vacuum, this vortex on the inside of it. Now it does work really quickly. It's great, very efficient at getting your water to boil very quickly with a minimal amount of fuel. Now if you go out to Kelly Kettle's webpage, uh, on the very beginning, they're going to very proudly state that this is a survival tool. And then if you read a little bit more, they're going to say that this item is great for a bug out bag. I'm going to let you decide on that. Just to let you know my experience, if you're not familiar with me, I've done a bit of basic tra uh, survival training. I can do friction fire, no problem. Uh, you know, I made improv shelters. I've got my own mindset on water plants. Uh, but if you are going to consider this a survival tool, I would highly recommend you to become familiar with the resources in your area. Now here in Nebraska, I got access to things like cottonwood, uh, cedar trees. I don't have access to fatwood and I don't have much access to birch. However, there is an exception. I have found some river birch bark trees around here and I've grabbed a bit of that one. So I'm going to use uh, natural resources today to get our Kelly kettle going. Okay, so I face these two holes toward the wind. All right, and we're just going to take some small twigs. We're going to put it here in the base. All right. all right. Based on the feedback I've gotten from the Kelly kettle community, I would say everybody has their own way of getting the fire going. I'm going to, so I'm just going to show you what works for me every time. Basically, I find it it works well to just put down a few base twigs down here. So as your fire builds, you're going to get some flame. Uh, start This will flame up and you'll also start building up some ash. Now this is some river birch bark that I collected at a park the other day. I was on a hike. And so I was like, all right, so let's use some natural tinder that I have here in Nebraska. And we're going to be using a ferro rod today. So I'm going to kind of break it up a little bit to get some little shards, something like that. If you're fortunate to get your hands on some fat wood, that's going to be a great option. Again, I don't have access to that out here. I just got some of this from a friend that mailed it to me. So we're going to add just a little bit in here. Again, I'm just demonstrating today natural fire. This is if you actually wanted to use this as like a survival item.
All right, before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my kettle, Kelly kettle. So we'll remove the tea cap, and we're gonna put in two cups of water. Technically, it's 16.9 ounces of water. There we go. And the arrow does tell you point down. It, to get my fire started, I'm using my everyday carry. I've got a pocket ferro rod and I always carry the Swiss Army knife. And on this one, I really like to use the awl to throw sparks. Let's see if I can get this started pretty quickly. One and done. So that birch bark and that fat wood's got a lot of oils in there. That's going to burn just fine, okay? You're going to see the black smoke. That's from the oil. All right, so let's go ahead and just put the Kelly kettle on there. You can see we already got flames coming out the top. From here, it is very minimal fuel. Just add in a few twigs. You don't want to overdo it, but you do... But make sure it's got some real wood in there. All right, you can see it's burning hot. If you have good fuel, good fire starter, uh, it really doesn't take much to boil water with this thing. Now, my recommendation. I don't always count on finding birch bark, so I just bring out some Vaseline cotton balls with me. You might see that on some other videos I have on here. All right, so one of the extra features that you can uh, add to your Kelly Kettle Kit is this Hobo stove top. I have used it successfully. This is not my preferred tool. However, I will give you a recommendation. Please check out my friend JKS Homestead. He also uses this Trekker model and he likes to go out cooking. He boils his water and he cooks up different food. He does a really good job. Now another attachment that you could add would be this little cross right here. This fits on top of the Kelly kettle. If you wanted to keep some food warm, uh, you can also put this under your stand as a base. You can put it on top of your base here to, to cook food with, like to warm up some water. So this is just another feature. Now there is another channel I want to shout out. The channel is Park It, Pitch It, Moor It. That gentleman is a genius when cooking with the full base kit. He goes out in the woods and he makes some gourmet meals. He really, really uses this equipment. I would say if there's a shortfall on Kelly Kettle videos, it's the actual cooking with the food. Uh, so check out those two, JKS uh, Homestead and Park It, Pitch It, More It. Those two channels do an outstanding job of using their Kelly Kettles. There we go, that's what it sounds like when your water's boiling. Got your regular old tea kettle. Now here's where you gotta be careful, okay? All right, so you got this handle here. It's like, see how it swings like that? You gotta be careful and you gotta grab your chain. So pop off the lid, the tea kettle. Take your chain like this and pull it. That way you don't burn yourself, okay? And now let's just go ahead and pour this to my coffee mug and uh, we're gonna make ourselves some hot chocolate. All right, so here you can see that we still got a bit of wood left there. I didn't really have to use much at all. And if I wanted to actually go to Hobo Cooking Kit, I could actually put this on top of here and cook with it. Or I can actually put this on here, cook with it as well. So it just depends on what you want to do. All right, so let's go ahead and stir up our hot chocolate. All right, folks, well, that about brings things up. So here's your Kelly Kettle. Just one more item to think about whether or not you want to start taking it out on your hikes. Again, the weather's going to get more and more beautiful. So get out, live life, 
and just think about what are your needs? What do you want to do? You want something hot to drink? Do you want to cook? Um, for me, it's a little bit too big to carry in my backpack. But again, I would highly encourage you to check out JKS Homestead and Park It, Pitch It, More It. Those two channels, they really love their Kelly Kettles and they might just give you guys a few ideas. All right, you guys take care and I'll see you on the next one.